Hey, how are you? It's Heather here with uh, Perfectly Imperfect Perfection. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted a video. I've just been really busy and, uh, you know, and sometimes when I don't feel like I have anything to say, I don't want to force anything out of my mouth. So, um, and right now I'm kind of a hot mess. I just finished working out not too long ago, feeding the kids lunch, and uh, my husband came home for lunch, and so it was, that's always fun. Um, but I'm um, kind of a mess. I did get in a good workout today, uh, which is something I'm really passionate about. I'm really passionate about exercise and fitness and really your mental health and how you handle all that. I kind of firmly believe that uh, you, you are what you think. You know, you can, um, if you think you're strong, you're going to attempt your workout and you're going to give it your all and you're going to feel strong and you're going to do your best and you'll see your strength increase if you don't really... Um, think you're strong you're not gonna go in and um, feel strong you know what I mean like I know you have to work up to that but I really believe a lot of it is mindset and then the mindset goes out into the physical so with that being said um, my perception of fitness and beauty and strength and all that has changed a lot throughout the years um, the reason I'm making this video today is you know, I kind of remembered this morning something I hadn't thought about in a long time. I used to really struggle with my body image and I used to really struggle with my my weight and not so much in the sense that like my weight didn't fluctuate. I, honestly, my issue with health and fitness isn't being overweight. It is um, an unhealthy mindset. That's been my biggest battle. Um, I used to, and uh, you know, I should say this too. I'm, um, I'm not really tall, but I look tall, and I'm broad-shouldered, and I kind of am a, like a dense person. Um, I've always kind of weighed, weighed on the heavier side, although like I didn't, nobody ever really perceived me as heavy. So it created this, I guess, this dichotomy within my head. You know, people would be like, what do you weigh, like 125? I'd be like, no, I'm like 140. You know, and when you're younger, that kind of stuff just, I don't know why it messes with you, but it does. And, um... I remember this morning I used to be so obsessive about that number on the scale and I mean that number defined me it that number was it I used to drink water by that number uh, if I weighed a certain amount I'd only allowed myself to drink so much water and so um, I just remembered my struggle and um, gosh I just realized how far I've really come maybe it's been like 15 years you know but um I'm starting to overcome that. I don't have a scale in my house anymore. I got rid of the scale. Goodbye. Kapooch. And I don't really spend too much time looking in the mirror anymore either. And I've just learned to be happy with my body the way that it is. I've given these concerns to God. He has healed me in some areas and we're working on others. And um, I've gotten to a point in my life where my body is far from perfect from that perfect body I had 15 years ago, if I knew it then. But it is perfectly imperfect. It, it tells a story and it's mine and it's strong and I get to choose um, to make it stronger and make it last as long as possible. So I just wanted to share that with you and have a good day.